Good morning. I'm here in bed with Aujour Le Jour, or I should say Mirko and Diego, creative directors from Aujour Le Jour. Fabulous young designers living in Milan, adding a bit of a splash of colour to our city. And I'm very excited. I'm obviously wearing their creations. And I'm very excited to be with them today because I think they're some of my favourite designers oh, of this moment you, right now. Um, I love you guys mostly because me being British, you're just so much fun. And I love the way that you approach fashion from a fun perspective. So tell me a little bit about how long you've been working together and um, how did you come up with what you're doing? Well, actually, in mm. me and Mirko has a really different background because we didn't study fashion school. Maybe that's why you're so creative. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm a building engineer and Mirko wow. was, um, used to be an expert yeah. manager for marketing. Wow. And then economics with a specialization in marketing. Wow. Yes. Okay, so basically there's a business plan here. Yeah. <laughs> And, but I think this is a, um, a lucky way to start because we were really pure when we started this project yeah. and we immediately uh, thought what uh, the market uh, was missing in yeah. the moment we started and uh, we always remember that we met, we were in Mykonos yeah. in Greece in a vacation in 2009 yeah. and um, we thought that we had to give our support to fashion to um, design something that uh, make fun for us. That's so crazy that just out of, you know, coming from marketing, uh, engineering, yeah. economics, that you decide, okay, we want to start a fashion brand. Yeah. I mean, that's quite, that's quite risky and it, yeah. it's quite a call yeah. to put yourself there. Yeah. Because I'm sure in a city like Milan and with the fashion industry in Italy, there's probably a lot of criticism yeah. from other people around that go, oh, they didn't study fashion, or they're not fashion designers. Yeah. But the point is, today, do you have to be? Yeah. You know, you, you're looking at trends in the market. But your collection is very much about trends. Yeah. So, following trends. So, where's all the ideas coming from? Uh, <clears throat> mainly, uh, we look at also the, the new social network, like Instagram network. Yeah. Uh, you can see all the picture of the street style all yeah. over the, the world. Yeah. And, and sometimes uh, we look at the, this look, uh, the, 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 the street style, street style, so yeah. street style yeah. yes. And um, you're inspired yeah, by them. No, we try, we try to uh, take something mm -hmm. from uh, this look uh, and. Uh, Inventing yes. with uh, our style and our uh, creative, creativity. How difficult <coughs> was it for you to start a fashion brand? Because there's saying it and then there's doing it. Yes, actually it's really difficult for two young uh, guys to start without money. Exactly, how did and, you do uh, it? Well actually um, I was working as sales manager in a brand, in a fashion brand in Milan. And Mirko was working uh, for PR in a press office and uh, had many contacts with some companies that I met in my past and uh, we decided to present our project and um, since it was re really care for our presentation, they say, okay, let's start. Wow. But it was really a challenge because... Um, mm -hmm. yes. So you went for straight through production, basically. Yeah. We started with license. Yeah with two companies that trust, in, trust us yes. and, uh, and say, okay, let's begin together. And um, I remember the first selling campaign was really crazy because uh, um, it was something really, I don't know, I, I knew the clients, I knew uh, in my career the clients, the, the stores in Italy. Yeah. And actually we invited them to see our collection. And was like, um, how do you say in English, passaparola? It was like word of mouth. Word of mouth. Yeah, yeah. word of mouth. <laughs> so but I suppose being PR yeah. and having that level of your connections, yeah. how were your connections? Were they favourable? Were they, they, were they excited? Did they support you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they did. Yes. Uh, I was uh, in the showroom with the modern selling the, the collection. <laughs> yeah. Alone, very unmade, <laughs> without the... Uh, because uh, Diego was busy for another yeah. project uh, that period and uh, I was uh, alone to sell this 
from the nine of the, the morning until the, the evening, day. yeah. yeah. And tell me, sometimes when clients come after lunch I, 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 and he was just <laughs> resting in yeah, the sofa. Yeah, yeah, one time. <laughs> Exhausted, <laughs> on your own. No, like you. but, but, but very excited for me because uh, a very top kind yes. of Italy, like... Uh, Luisa Gallo Romance. Yeah. Biffy, you know, yeah. in Biffy Milan, yeah. Luisa Gallo in Florence, uh, came to our showroom to, to see the collection. That's amazing. And uh, I didn't know them. Of course. And, uh, I was... Uh, it was just naive, yeah. naive but yeah. uh, made, but uh, uh, really, I don't know, direct, because especially the first, first collection was uh, all based on Fake 4, and it was really um, one of the first times that uh, a brand presented Fake 4, because usually it was like, I don't know, Mink, Fox, uh, and uh, all try to to present less expensive or more commercial fuel, but it has to be real. And we thought we are not like uh, vegan, we are not. Um, but uh, we thought it was more, much more modern to yes. present fake four like a fabric. And it was nice because in the same season, yeah. uh, Chanel, Chanel and Carla Gavi present a whole collection of the uh, which is a week before. So it was like crazy. Yeah, of course, but. If you're not a designer, how did you handle the designing? Did you, have you become, do you consider yourselves now to have learned and become designing? How much are you part of the actual process? Ah, okay. Um, actually, we, the company that supports us in the beginning, um, as I don't know, all the women that were, were really expert yeah. with, with modeling yeah. and pattern. Yeah. And uh, we all. In the beginning, it was really difficult because we, we had an idea in the mind yeah. and we had to explain uh, And that's that. very hard. And they say, no, it doesn't work, no, we, can do, we <laughs> cannot do it. <laughs> we say, does. yes, it does. <clears throat> and finally, it was nice because uh, like a traditional company in Italy was following our uh, crazy taste yeah. uh, to use, uh, I don't know, uh, furnishing material for a skirt uh, or um, a shape <laughs> like uh, really unconventional. This is what you do. <laughs> But listen, now it's become a full-time job. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Is this what you dreamed of? Is it everything that you dreamed of? Yeah. How do you feel now? Or do you want to go back to your old life? No, <laughs> uh, no because initially uh, it was uh, like uh, an hobby for us. Yeah, the hobby, yeah. But then uh, when, uh, um, <clears throat> when we discovered the press yeah. with uh, a lot of editorial, yes. with our verses, so yeah. uh, for little pieces, uh, uh, we discovered maybe it's a new world for us. Yeah, uh, of course. A new life. Uh, yeah, and and how do you feel about being in Milan and being, as they say, young designers in Milan? Because you're still not. What's the project? Is there eventually a project to be able to do a catwalk, or which other designers do you look at and say, "Oh, we would like to be like them, growing"? Because there's a, there's an emergence of young designers now. Coming but actually, out of Milan. we respect uh, <coughs> mainly and fully Milan as a, um, a fashion city. capital. Yes, yeah. um, we think that we have we have a, a different taste. Mm. We are more like closer, as you say. You're uh, more Milan, British or London, yes, or you're very uh, pop. Because Milan Even is American in some ways, you know? Milan is more like uh, commercial luxury. Yeah. Because Paris is more like tour and Milan is more like commercial luxury. And um, so, yes, we always think about uh, a catwalk uh, or a track show because we also want to not to do uh, like the traditional uh, catwalk uh, that uh, we have to be scared of if uh, people come or not. You want to make something that you want to do something about, different, yes. yeah, something new, or to, uh, the way of the to present. Yeah, the who, the yeah, customer. who's the aujourd'hui le jour uh, buyer? Who's the aujourd'hui le jour girl or boy? Because you know, yes, because we launched it to the the man's, the yeah. Le jour garçon. Yes. <laughs> this is bright. Yeah. This is very bright yeah. for this rainy no, day. It's, so I like it's that. was really crazy because I like um, it. I like it. I can I come with the tube here because I, um, Oh my god, it Milan. was really every everybody watched the the pants. Everyone was looking at you. Everybody was like black, grey, like white everyone. for the rain. And so it was like uh, everyone watched my pants but it was really funny because uh, But that, I like that because me being a Londoner when I moved to Milan 11 years ago, I just remember the way I dress 
I couldn't understand why everyone was looking at me all the time. And people would just look at me all the time. And now I realise that I just stopped looking at them. People yeah. still look here and they stare, but now I don't notice them. Yeah. You know, but I think it's important in Milan to have... I, I love the fact that you're wearing full turquoise. I love it. So, and you use a lot of animals in your prints as well. There's a lot of symbolic of animals. There's, I've got a t-shirt with the gorillas on it, yeah. the sweatshirt. That's really fun. So where are these ideas coming from? You just want to be fun as designers? Well, for us, <clears throat> fashion is also to play. Yeah. And uh, play, remember, when we, we, we were young. Eh? Yeah. We, we played with the animals, I remember. When we with toys, young, yeah. yeah. With toys, with animals. Uh, maybe this... Uh, it's coming back, this yeah, is the idea. Back another time. But in the process of the creativity, it's something that... Uh, uh, different every time. Yeah. For example, when we present the pandas, it was like inspiration of the Walt Disney movie of the 60s, and in this for winter, we wanted to present bad animals. So we, we made gorilla, we made hyena, we made ostrich, but like bad, not. We, it can be sometimes sweet, sometimes bad. Um, but the woman that, or the, man, the guy that wants to, to wear the red jewel has to be really auto ironic. Yeah. Yes. Not take themselves too seriously. Yeah. I think yeah. smart person like yeah. you, <laughs> intelligent, very fun. Yeah, fun. I want to have fun. Like, I'm sure of myself and I want my personality. I yeah. want to be able to express yeah. my personality, and that's why I love your clothes. I like to express myself, <laughs> but I also think that. It's true what you said, in this time of digital age, yeah. your clothes really represent what's happening on the internet. And that's what's really interesting as young designers like yourself. Yeah. It's contemporary, but not in contemporary in a way of like contemporary art, contemporary yeah. of what's happening yeah. with the internet today. Yeah. Because people are being photographed, people want to be noticed. We're in a very voyeuristic moment, yeah. you know? Yeah. And au jour le jour, especially in the Milan Fashion Week, it's everywhere yeah. on the street photographers. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, who yes. are your favorite? Who are your favorite it girls then that you have? Like favorite girls yeah. that you love to dress. Yeah. Yeah. We have two. No, uh, we have many. But your like favorites, yes. like your maybe Kiana Ferragni is my favorite. Also, I think she's very, it's very cool and um, very smart person, and she works a lot. Yeah, she travels. A yeah. Every day, yeah. you know, I don't know how, how she, she does can. it. Yeah. Korea, all day, in Hollywood, one day, Milan, Never one stops. Day. Never, <laughs> ever. She's like a machine. But <laughs> actually, mm, yes, Chiara, but also uh, we want to thank uh, all the like uh, it it uh, girls that are not also it girls, but also stylists or fashion icon like Liliana Volpicella that yes. really make uh, uh, a disaster with the pandas because everybody shoot uh, and also Leandro Medina my repeller so Viviana and buy pandas. Yeah. And uh, now the, the, the youngest uh, girl that we like to see, she's, uh, I don't know, Chiara, Chiara Totti. Yeah. From yes. Yeah. She's because very she's, cool. She's got very cool she style. She's like Viviana, they are really Mediterranean. Yeah. Like Italian girl, yeah. but uh, with, uh, with uh, an allure. With, uh, but it's really shower. interesting to have that very Mediterranean look yeah. juxtaposed yeah. with yeah. au jour le jour. Yeah. But would you kind of consider yourselves uh, designers that are working and living in this di and inspired by the digital age, if you like? You feel like that's your constant uh, inspiration, the internet looking at what's happening online and moving towards this world. Well, actually, yes, we like the street style, we like to see uh, around us, but uh, we want also to go forward because yes. uh, everybody, um, now there is like a, a really big, big trend at high level and also average level yeah. with all this street style and something that someone has to like be in carnival yeah. with fashion. We don't want this, even if uh, we have uh, pop colors, crazy yeah. shapes, etc. But we want to maintain an Italian taste. Yeah. Okay, so okay. elegant. That there has to be different, but also <coughs> the culture. Also, yeah. the, also the quality for us yeah. of the quality. fabrics. Yeah. Because uh, we select only Italian and European. Okay, so fabrics. it's all made in Italy. Yes, all the production is. Uh, all it's in all in Italy. Apart in, in the Bologna. Yeah. Okay. 
and uh, one part in Benetton zone. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, where, but where are they making the fake au jour les jours? No. <laughs> because we've just discovered yeah. that there are fake au jour les jours. So I was wearing one of the au jour les jours t-shirts with the Barbie doll at my Punk So Prada party last Friday. And the day after, Miracle found a post of a fake au jour les jours t-shirt. He's like, bene, another au jour les jours t-shirt on the markets of Napoli. Napoli. I mean, do you feel kind of almost, it's almost like, wow, they're copying me. Yes. Is it a compliment? Yes. First, yes. It's a, so the first, first sight is not so, I'm not so happy when I see <laughs> something. No, because sometimes the, the final consumer don't understand, no? Yeah. And maybe uh, he, can, uh, he can buy something that is not toujours le jour. But that one doesn't have the Barbie on it, though. It's like the t-shirt without yeah. like the yeah. image, so it's like there's something missing. You, we should do play a match, spot yeah. the real t-shirt. Yeah. They change the flowers, yeah. I think, and put the, the orchestra really nice because, yeah. in the... In the because we put in the Instagram, uh, the official, the, the, the invitation, the flyer yes. of the presentation of, of uh, September, and um, in the collection we didn't have uh, um, Killer Whale and Barbie together, but they were in different... Uh, wow, that's crazy. Is, they they just the... copy the flyer. So they yeah, was... I, I think scan, scan... A scan they, and do t-shirt. Are they selling them? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Where? You don't know? No, yeah, I, 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 I know the shop. Yeah. shop. <laughs> we, we know the name, but... Oh, it's a shop! Yeah, that they're yeah. selling it out of a shop? Yeah. 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 Well, obviously, you can do something. Well, there are things. I mean, you can look at these things as a compliment as well. Though. Oh, yes, yes. It's a so, listen, what's the next? Give me a little bit of idea because um, are you going to be presenting for Men's Fashion Week? That's coming up, like, in ja January. Will you be doing a presentation yes. now? Yes. yes. So, there's new stuff happening on the horizon, basically. Yes. We are we still looking at a lot of colour for the next collection? Yes, always. It's a surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> no, no. But there will be colour. But no, in general, we like to change something. Okay. Because uh, we don't want to repeat. Yes, the same thing. thing. The consumer is so... Uh, yeah. Has to be surprised. Uh, yeah. Okay. And so, but we all, always with our identity. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in general, we present something new and with a uh, special... Uh, and yes. Uh, amen, uh... This is an exciting moment then. Yeah. Right, I'll be waiting to see it then. Yeah. I'll be getting my boyfriend dressed up as an ojo de joie. Thanks so much for coming on the bed with me today. Thank you. I wish you so much luck and I'll be seeing you very soon. Thank Give me you. kisses. Yeah. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.